Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. And please go check out the other videos that may pertain to you for your sun, moon, or rising signs. Uh, that will give you a much more dynamic picture of what's going on this week, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. What does Sagittarius need to know for this coming week? What is the message for Sagittarius? Okay, we've got the Four of Swords. Now we're going to we're going to lay out the other ten cards in our Celtic cross spread, but we're also going to do an eleventh card, and this eleventh card is going to sit right here till the very end of the reading. That is going to be our bonus card, our confirmation card. Uh, we're going to see at the end how it might tie together this this entire reading. Uh, and, and give us that confirmation that we're looking for, okay? So starting us out today, like I said, we have the Four of Swords. I think the situation this uh, week is involving the, uh, <clears throat> the, the stopping of some kind of a conflict that you have with someone. Now, we see some, some court cards here that are indicating that this, uh, this other person involved, it's someone that you've had maybe some some disagreements with there's been some tension in your association or relationship with this person i don't know that it was a love relationship i think maybe maybe a little more towards a business kind of relationship or maybe a combination of both right but with this four of swords i really think that the time has come to just put an end to whatever conflict you're in with this person okay whoever it is that you have this this friction, this tension, this animosity with whoever you've been kind of just arguing with or you've been in this bit of a battle with, I think, and the cards seem to think, that it's time to just call a truce, just put an end to all of that energy, right? I think that it's, um, it's not really serving you anymore to be in this conflict with this person. All right, um, I think you're the type of person that really doesn't like to give up a fight. You don't like to ever admit, uh, admit defeat. You don't like to ever be defeated. Um, I think that once you get into that mode of fighting and defending yourself and and really like showing your strength and using your power, I think you like to, to see things through till the end. Um, I think you're someone that really has to follow through with everything that they say. Um, I, I don't think that you're someone who is easily going to call a truce or give up on a fight like this, right? So I think that's why the cards now are saying it's really time for you to, to try to do that. In this situation, um, I don't feel like this, this argument, this fight that you're in with this person is going to be of any benefit to you. Um, and so with this tendency for you to fight and take control and really try to just try to win and succeed and be the victor in any battle that you're in, which is a wonderful quality. Um, I think you need to kind of know when to, to, to call it quits or, or know when to, to put an end to this kind of friction. Okay. I think in the recent past, um, you've had this six of wands energy where you've triumphed over things. You've, you've been the victor. You have won. You've succeeded in whatever kind of situation or battle that you were in or whatever kind of, um, whatever kind of situation that you were in with this person. I think you did come out on top already, so I don't know why there's still this kind of fighting and animosity going on, right? Because I think you've already achieved the most that you could achieve in this situation. You've already won as much as it's possible to win in this in this situation. Now, I hope you'll leave me some comments and let me know how you're doing and if this is resonating with you. But I think I think in this case, you've already gotten everything out of it that you could. You've already succeeded essentially. And so now I think it's really just time to embrace this 4 of swords and just really call a truce, a ceasefire, stop the fighting because at this point I don't think there's really anything else to fight for. You know, I think now you're just in that habit of, of fighting with this person, but there's really no benefit. There's really no additional outcome. There's no, nothing else to be gained from it, right? Because I think you've already, you've already gotten everything that you could from this situation. All right. Um, 
I also see that what you might be hoping for in this situation, kind of like your highest ideal outcome or your goal here, is maybe to elicit some sort of transformation in this person. So I think that maybe the reason why you keep fighting is because you want them to see the error of their ways. You're trying to force them to, to change, right? Whatever, whatever situation this is, or however they are behaving, or whatever the reason is for this fight, right? I think you want that other person to see that they were wrong, to change their ways, to really grow from this. You're trying to like force force the experience on them and force them to like to learn their lesson, you know what I mean? And so I think the highest outcome for you is that this person will see that they were wrong, see their errors, they'll they'll admit that they were wrong, they will grow and change and become a better person because of this. But I think as you know, you can't force that kind of change on someone. Um, I think what is more appropriate here is for you to see how you might grow and change and learn from this situation, okay? So whoever this, this person is, and we'll, we'll get to some of their qualities in a moment here because I have an idea. Um, but Sagittarius, again, you have that fighting spirit. You don't want to give up. You don't really know when to stop. You know, even after you've won, you, do, you keep going. And I think it's really because you, you're trying to get that other person to see their error, to see like how wrong they were and to change and grow and learn from the experience. But I think it's a situation where you have to try to do that. I think that's, it's important for you to see uh, this situation and, and your approach to it and how you might um, adapt your behavior, behavior or evolve your, your behavior in, in the future situations. Because I think you're going to get into situations like this again, all right? This isn't like the last time you're going to have this kind of thing with someone. Maybe, hopefully not with the same person, but um, there's going to be, you know, more opportunities in the future, I think. Um, speaking of the opportunities, I think this situation is an opportunity for you to to change your ways, to grow, to learn from this experience, to use it as this death card, use it as this kind of... Um, uh, as a prompt, as an opportunity for growth and evolution of, of your soul, of your psyche, of your spirit, you know, and, and use it as, um, use it as a, 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 just an opportunity for, for future growth and for change, you know. And so we have the Fool card crossing your path. And I think that this is, um, this is also talking about, you know, once you, once you do this, the Four of Swords energy, once you kind of call this quits, or the way to kind of get through this and to just call that ceasefire and to call that truce is to recognize the other opportunities that are in your life. Are you wasting a lot of time embroiled in this battle with this person when you could be doing so much other things? So many other opportunities are there, uh, but I think you're just kind of, you've just been a little bit preoccupied with this situation that you're, you're missing out on other things. Um, and I think that the way also to just kind of call a truce here is, is just to just literally forgive everyone. Just literally just wipe the slate clean. The fool is card zero. And that I think is just like a reset button, right? Just everything's a wash. Just wipe it away. Start fresh. Start clean. You don't have to talk to this person. You don't have to try to mend the relationship or whatever happened. It doesn't have to be fixed. But I think just wipe it all away and just start over again. Like tomorrow is a new day for you to just wake up and do some other things with your life. The other things that you really feel strongly passionate about. And we'll get to some of that in a moment too because there's some other cards here that indicate where your life is really headed. After this situation um, kind of passes, passes through, you're on your way to some really good things. And I think it's important that you have this fighting spirit, this passion, this enthusiasm. This is the lust card or strength card. Uh, Major Arcana, number 11. This is like, you have the potential to really do all sorts of things with your life, right? Whatever you put your mind to and your heart to, whatever you put your passion into, you can accomplish. And so to see you putting a lot of your effort into this situation, relationship, this battle with this person, to me just seems like a waste of energy. And speaking of waste of energy, the immediate future is that waste of energy. This is the Seven of Cups. I think this is just that strong, passionate, emotional energy. 
that is just being wasted. It's more, it's, it's not nourishing, it's more of a poison at this point, okay? And I think this is kind of saying, well, if you don't, uh, if you don't kind of get yourself out of this situation, you're going to find that it's really going to be um, more damaging to you emotionally and spiritually than it's, it's going to be of any benefit to you. And this is also in the, the immediate future. I think this is the recognition of that. I think you're going to come to the realization that uh, putting all of your effort into this kind of fight uh, it really wasn't doing anything good for you and in fact was probably damaging you more than anything else. Like it was just, it wasn't good for you spiritually or emotionally to be embroiled in this situation or just to be, uh, to remain in this situation rather than moving on, okay? Um, so I think you're going to recognize that it, it was uh, just kind of poisoning you, souring your emotions, giving you too much negativity, okay? And so that is an, one reason, I think, for a good reason why you should move on from this. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel. Uh, if, especially if this is resonating with you, please leave me some comments and, and let me know how you feel about it. Now we're going to move on to the, the second part of the reading here. I think that, that you, you see yourself as someone who is very energetic, very enthusiastic, almost a little impulsive, and maybe can be a little bit irrational at times. I think when you're using this passion, this fire energy, this lust and this force and fire that you have here with this, this strength or lust card. I think you might uh, overreact a little bit. I think you might um, sometimes have a bit of a short temper. I think that you are just very eager and enthusiastic to go out and, and do things and to tackle the problems and to really overcome challenges. And that is an amazing quality. I think that sometimes it can lead to that um, overreaction or the, the short temperedness um, or jumping into something and really getting started in a situation with a lot of enthusiasm when maybe it wasn't the best opportunity or the best place for you to use that passion and that enthusiasm and that energy. So maybe, maybe sometimes you jump into things a little bit too fast. Okay. So with this Prince of Wands, I think that card's kind of saying, well, this is you have a tendency to do this, so kind of um, keep an eye on that and just be aware of this tendency in yourself because it might be misplacing some of this force and fire energy, this lust and strength energy. It might be going in the wrong direction if you um, just kind of jump into the first thing that, that excites you um, and then within a few minutes or a few days or whatever, you might just kind of realize, oh man, this... I. I didn't want to do this isn't where I want to be right so I think that it's important for you to, to notice this tendency in yourself and to um, to understand how it might have played a role in what's going on with this this battle with this person now speaking of this person um, I think that they might be represented by this prince of swords so I think that they're probably uh, a peer probably around the same age as you um, but I think that they, they may be, uh, they may be an air sign, which, you know, your Sagittarius, obviously, I think your sun sign, or if you're watching this for your, your moon or your rising sign, it still applies here. We're talking about Sagittarius and that's fire and this Prince of Wands. And then we have this Prince of Swords. So I think this is, again, a peer, someone around the same age as you, uh, but perhaps an air sign. Or rather, uh, if they're not an air sign, they have those airy qualities about them, those swords kind of qualities where they, uh, they're very opinionated, maybe kind of a know-it-all, very, uh, very outspoken, very intellectual. They think that they um, can always get the upper hand by just being more logical or making better arguments. or they're, They think they're really good at debate. Um, so if they're not an air sign, they, they definitely have some of those airy qualities. And I think this is who you might be in this kind of battle with, all right? Um, but I do see that things are going to be wrapping up. I think you're going to kind of heed the advice of the cards here, and you're going to get out of this situation. You're going to learn and grow from it, and you're going to move on, and you're going to put your energy elsewhere. And with this Four of Wands, this is the completion of the cycle, the completion of this experience, this phase, this situation. 
is going to wrap up and you're going to move on. Now, what are you moving on to? Well, you have all of this good force and fire energy. You have this ability to come out on top and, and reach your goals and have your accomplishments. I think you're going to channel all of that into physical, financial success, right? This is your fitness, your finances, your health and your wealth are going to be in balance, in harmony. Things are going to be good and growing. And I think that is a, a very beautiful expression of your fiery energy um, is going to be just put into your health and your, your finances, your work, your career, how you, how you make money, right? With the six of discs here, everything is just nicely balanced Every area of your life is just bright and shining and succeeding and wonderful. And so I think that this is really um, about taking your focus from this kind of conflict and battle that you have with this person, who again, I think is around the same age as you and quite possibly an air sign or has some of those airy qualities. Okay, and I think you're going to be taking yourself out of this situation because you recognize that it is just kind of poisoning your your heart and your mind and your spirit and it's not good for you I think you're gonna learn from it and grow from this um, and you're gonna take advantage of the the opportunities that are before you once you put a stop to this this conflict that you're in okay and then you're gonna be able to channel that energy right up here into this six of discs and this is gonna be your fitness and finances your health and your wealth all right, and I think that is that's a wonderful transition for you this week, uh, moving from that uh, that conflict, that animosity, that fighting, that just that doesn't feel good, right? It may feel good temporarily because you you're express you got that adrenaline, right, and you're expressing your fire, but ultimately it's not going to do anything for you, and I think it's time to shift to to complete to wrap that that thing up, and move on to focusing on your physical stability, health, and wealth. Okay, fitness and finances. Now we're going to check out this confirmation card. <clears throat> we didn't look at this yet. I don't know what this is. We're going to see if this can tie the reading together. And we have the eight of discs. So I think that is a nice confirmation of this six of discs. I think this is really counteracting a lot of your impulsive, fiery energy that we have here. And I think this is, uh, again, with, when you're coming out of this, uh, conflict in this battle with this four of swords you're putting putting an end you're kind of waving the white flag you're just calling a truce calling it quits you're done with all of that negativity and all of that fiery energy is going to be I think channeled into this six of discs like we said but with this eight of discs now this is a more calm a more stable a more focused energy this is uh, attention to detail. This is caution and prudence and and really uh, nurturing things and really building up your life. Again, with that six of discs, it's that, that health and wealth, the fitness and finances. And you're going to be really paying attention to that and doing things slowly and gradually building up those areas of your life. And it's going to just be a very slow and steady process but it's going to lead to such wonderful things because it's the confirmation of this six of discs, like I said. So this is kind of telling you uh, what the future really is going to be or how you're going to really get the most out of this, which this was the, you know, the, um, the projected outcome, the more, the more long-term enduring result of all of this is going to be that perfect harmony and beauty and balance in your health and in your wealth. And with that is going to come this eight of discs, that prudence, that slow, steady growth, uh, that nurturing and, and prudent and cautious attention to detail and the careful planning and just the really calm but steady and strong um, expression of your fiery energy, right? So rather than being impulsive and just, just rushing out and doing things, you're going to be able to kind of contain that energy and just use it as strength and use it to really grow your life in the best possible way with that six of discs. And this eight of discs is the, just a beautiful, splendid confirmation of all of that. Sagittarius, I'm really excited for you this week. I think it's going to be an amazing week. Um, if you want to stick around for the extended version of this, you can become a member of this channel. And uh, all of the information is down in the description box. This was your weekly tarot forecast.